Hey dolls! So today I'm doing a video that has been highly requested and it's taken some time to film this just because I have gradually been accumulating more accessories. So I've just been wanting to add to my little collection before I made a full-on video. Now I feel a little bit content with my collection so I can now go ahead and make this video. But this is going to be a video all about my Apple Watch accessories. So if you're interested in that, Go ahead and keep watching but before I do get into the video I have to mention on my eyes is the dose of colors ice cream palette on my lips is the dose of colors liquid lipstick in the shade rosebud my shirt is from la style rush.com it is one of the uh, tokidoki sanrio collabs and yes with that being said let's go ahead and get on into these Apple Watch accessories now. So before I get into the actual physical accessories that you wear around your wrist along with the watch, I'm just gonna show this little base, this little charging base that I got off of Amazon. So if you are familiar with an Apple Watch, you can kind of see the charger is strung through the bottom right here, but basically just this little white circle right here is the charger. You just put the back of the Apple Watch right on that little white circle and then it will start charging. Now this, <laughs> I literally just looked at this and was like, why is this not charging? Hello. <laughs> this is really cool because you can just plug it into the wall and then it's kind of just has a stationary stand. So like it just has its own little charging dock for you to set it on. And I really, really like it. I just got like a basic pink one. And if I can find the links to any of these products that I show you guys, I will leave them linked down below. And then it also can adjust. So this works for both the bigger models and the smaller models. I have the Apple Watch, the 38 millimeter series three. So that is what all of these accessories are for, but I'm sure that they are made for the 40 millimeter and so on and so forth. So yes, I do have this little charging dock that I got off of Amazon and I really, really like this. I use it to charge my watch all the time and it has not steered me wrong and I love it so much. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to bands. And these bands I'm not gonna talk too much about because I have done a full video all about these Wearlizer bands that I also got off of Amazon. So if you are interested in ones that you can take the links off of and make super small, if you're someone who has really, really tiny wrists like me, these are great because you can literally take some of these links out. They give you all the tools to do it and you can customize the size completely and I just love it so much. So I have these two chain ones. These are both kind of like a pinky, rose gold kind of color scheme. And then I also have this one right here that you can also remove the links from. And this one just has some beautiful like stone detail. And it's just really pretty, again, just like a rose gold color. Uh, the links to these, if I can find them, will be down below. Also, I will link my full Wearlizer video right here on the screen. It has all the links to all of these in the description box of that video, just in case I forgot forget to list them here. Also, I do have this, like, kind of leather style one. It is another, like, blushy pink, kind of rose gold color. And it's one of the buckle ones. I'm not a huge fan of the ones that do this thing. I'm more a fan of the silicone ones like this that I'm just about to show you. But this is a great option as well if you are someone who has really small wrists. Because as you can see, these holes go real small. So you can definitely tighten or loosen it however tight or loose you need it. So there are all of my Wearlizer ones. And then of course I have the uh, band that came with my Apple Watch. It came with a small medium band and it also came with a uh, medium large band, at least this half of the band. And this is just the one that came with my Apple Watch. It's kind of like a, I think it's kind of like a sandy color maybe. It's like a tan color. So I do have this band, and these are my favorite types of bands to use. You'll see the one that I have on my watch right now is the same way. I just love how you can easily just puncture the hole, 
with whatever size you need and then just tuck in the excess right there so it's not flapping around all crazy and they're just super convenient to put on and you can do it easily one-handed which I really love those bands are my favorite and the thing I love about these bands also is you can customize them and I mean that by say since you get two different pieces like this you can get a pink band and then you can get a blue band and if you're feeling some cotton candy vibes you can put the top of one band on there and then put the bottom of the other band on so you got like this custom little cotton candy moment, which I think is really cute. So all of these I got off of either AliExpress or eBay. These are just the basic silicone kind of sport band style ones. So I got this hot pink one. And then I also got this really pretty light blue shade. This is kind of like a robin's egg or sky blue. And then I also got this deep lavender kind of periwinkle color that is really pretty as well. So as far as bands go, those are my favorite bands to wear. I have literally, I have not taken off my pink band since I got it though. It is my favorite. I just love it so much. But if I am wearing like a certain colored outfit or maybe I'm wearing a blue outfit and I want it to match or maybe like a little lavender, um, I can just kind of interchange these. And it's really, really fun to just play with and kind of customize your own little way. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to talk about are watch cases. Uh, you guys saw in my recent favorites video, this is the case that I have on right now. This is from Pixie Dust Wearables. The shop info will be down below, but it is just Pixie Dust Wearables on Instagram. And I think they're taking a little bit of a hiatus soon, so they won't be able to do customs or anything just yet. But this is the watch case that I'm rocking right now. It is just a very pretty pink glittery simple one and then I also have this Marie one from them which you guys also saw in my recent favorites video that is just glittery and Marie and it is so cute so that is those are my watch cases from again pixie dust wearables and I will mention their shop again in a minute so just hold on. Then these next three, you can also find these on eBay or AliExpress. I think I got all of these off of AliExpress, but um, they also have a mini mouse version of this as well. This comes in tons of different color variations as well, but I got the pink on pink, of course, because hello, duh. Um, this was the first watch case that I got, and this is just a cute little Hello Kitty one. You can see it's very pliable and been, kind of bendy. And it's just so cute. I love how it looks with the uh, pink band. It just looks adorable, like a Hello Kitty bubblegum princess. And I just love it. So there is that. And then I also got to go with these little bands. I got a light blue kind of seafoam-ish color. It's more, it's more turquoise than like seafoam. But this colored one is so pretty i love this blue color and even like this case with like this band like that just looks so pretty so i got that one and then i also got a lilac one i just dropped it a lilac one so these i got off of the same listing they were just different colors they have these in all types of different colors so there are all of my cases that I have. Now what I'm going to talk to you guys about are, uh, what are these called? Band buttons, I think is what you want to call them. Band buttons, bandits, I don't know. There's just different band charms. There's different terms for them and different shops call them different things. But as you can see right here, I have a little Mickey Mouse head. And this was also made by Pixie Dust Wearables. You can see it is just popped through the little hole like so. So if I wanted to take this off, boop, just like that, you can see it has a little nub on one side and you can just pop it directly into your band like so. They do have tons of different colors, but again, I think they're going on kind of a shop hiatus right now, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to get your hands on any of these. They may have sold out completely. They may not offer them anymore. I'm not 100% sure, but I have this Mickey head that is all glittery, and then I also have three others. I have this darker pink glittery Mickey head that just looks like this that, again, so cute and I love that you can just wear multiple of these at a time and then I also have these two which are also Mickey heads 
but these ones have little roses on the front so they are that light pink color and this one has a pink rose attached and this one has a white rose attached so if I go ahead and pop these on right here I can just go ahead and show you real quick what they look like. I love these. <laughs> there are a few different shops as well. I have heard of Bippity Boppity Brook on Instagram as well. And I will leave her Instagram down below in the description if you want to check her out. She has a rose gold like monorail one that is really cute. And um, some mini ear ones that are adorable as well. But you can just see you just pop them through the little holes. And then you can just wear it around your wrist. And it just makes it so fun and like I said you can just customize it to the moon and back and I love the ability to be able to do that so there are those oh and then I have the darker pink one also that I can go ahead and show you guys and I love these because like even if you don't want to spend the money on like a fancy Disney case for your watch you can just get one of these little band buttons and just kind of just kind of put it on here and then you just have like a little hint of Disney with you wherever you go which I absolutely am a sucker for obviously but those are again what those look like and also um, they do sell like leather punches and stuff at Michael's which is something I plan to get because I want to add more holes to my bands kind of up here more towards the watch itself to make room for even more charms in the future so for bands like this you can definitely do that just the cheap silicone ones you get off of ebay and stuff um they do sell the little leather punches at michael's and if you go to pixie dust wearables instagram page in their highlight section underneath their instagram bio they have a full tutorial on how you can punch new holes in your bands like this so i advise go watching that and that is basically what i'm gonna do with my future watches so that kind of gives you an idea um, but yeah, I think that's an amazing concept and I absolutely love these little band charms and I do hope to get some from Bippity Bop Boppity Brook one of these days. Now, along with band charms, you guys, if you've ever been to Disney World in Florida, you may be familiar with magic bands. Magic bands are similar to an Apple Watch in the fact that it goes around your wrist and there's several different holes in the bands usually so that you can adjust it to whatever wrist size you have. Well, they have these things called magic bandits and they are basically, I'm just going to show you one right now. They are basically the same thing as little band charms and they just look like so. They have the little nub on the back and in theory, you can just push this into your Apple watch band. Now, now. I assumed that these would work for the Apple Watch because it's basically almost very similar to the Magic Band. However, as you can see, if I just apply the littlest tiny amount of pressure, it pops right out. So unfortunately, they are too loose. Now, however, if you get one of those leather punches from Michaels, you can use probably the smallest puncher and you can punch a smaller hole in the band like up top maybe and it will punch in and hopefully stay in place but i did buy these off of ebay i got these in a pack they came all three together this is the lady in the tramp pack and it was around ten dollars and they have tons of different ones as well they have princess ones just to the moon and back your heart can only imagine but just keep in mind that they will not work for these holes. You have to punch tinier holes in your bands if you want them to work. And the reason that they really only work with bands like this anyway is because they are silicone and flexible. You wouldn't wanna try to put one of these in something like this because it doesn't retain its shape it's not like pliable and bendy or stretchy so it, it's not going to retain that shape so as soon as you punch it in it's automatically going to break through that and then it's just going to fall out it's not necessarily going to stay in place so it sucks that i got these and they don't really work um, but again you can punch smaller holes in here which is what i might do in the future but luckily i do have a friend in florida who is willing to take these off my hands for me she has magic bands and she said that she's more than happy to take them from me and I know she will use them so I am sending them to her but as you can see it has Lady, Tramp, and Jacques on there 
and they are just so cute. And again, these are made for the Magic Bands for Disney World, but I thought they would work for Apple Watch. I did tons of research on this, guys. Like, even before I bought these, I did like three days worth of research trying to find out if anyone has used them on an Apple Watch and if they work with them or not, and I could find nothing. So I decided to just buy them anyway and test it out for myself, and I am here coming at you right now to relay the information and put it out there into the world that no, technically these do not work for an Apple Watch, but with a little bit of DIY, you can make them work if you really wanted to. So yes, they are very cute. And again, it's just kind of another way to accessorize your band if you wanted to put in the extra work to make them work. <laughs> but yeah, actually that is everything that I have for my Apple Watch right now. Those are all my accessories, my bands, my cases, my charms, everything that I have right now. I plan to get more so you can probably expect an updated video later on. But for now, that is everything that I have. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it a little bit informative. Let me know if you've ever heard of any of these shops or if you've ever had little band charms and if you have recommendations for places that sell customized um, watch cases or little band charms, please, please, please let me know down in the comments below because not only do I love finding cute things for my watch as accessories, but I also love supporting smaller shops. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go and I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I will talk to you all next time. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye!